Hi there. Welcome to my studio. In today's video, I will show you two recent paintings. I will talk a bit about my quite extensive YouTube break. I will let you peek into the studio between and also during workshops and maybe even a bit of how I film for Patreon. So let's get started. This painting is quite recent and I'm painting into my watercolor sketchbook. This pink one is made by Cobble Sketchbooks. I got it as a gift from Tom who creates these gorgeous sketchbooks by hand. The paper inside is Sanders Waterford, which is a cotton 300 GSM paper, which was a real treat to work with during the whole year of 2023. I started the sketchbook early before 2023, I think. And I was going to finish it in December, but I have to admit that the last page is still not done and it's March 2024 now. I've been slacking of painting past month as I felt incredibly overwhelmed with everything and for once I chose to rest instead of pushing it. So once I'm done with the last page, I will make a sketchbook tour. I hope that you like it because this was a really interesting year for me and the sketchbook really reflects that. I still like to paint mostly portraits, but last year I pushed a lot of floral paintings and a very few landscapes during summer. Even though I disappeared from YouTube, I was still posting a lot to Patreon, so there is a year's worth of tutorials in there, including a full process of this particular painting, which was nearly two hours long. The Patreon work was central of my work week last year and that is mostly thanks to my brother who helped me edit all my videos so that I could focus on the content. I want to thank to all of the people who joined the Patreon community and who still support me there. I sincerely hope that you use the tutorials to your advantage and learned something new and fun. But thanks also to all of you who watched my videos on this channel while I was gone. There were so many comments and the channel lived its own life even without me for a bit. So I just want to say something nice about YouTube for a change and the reason that I finally made a new video, because this was terribly difficult for me, is that I came to conclusion after a year that I genuinely like to create videos, just like I like to create new paintings and make them look in a certain way. I like to create videos and I want to be better at it. And YouTube videos are much more fun to create than, than your typical lesson and class. Lessons uh, that I create for Patreon are satisfying to create in a way because I get to explain my full process, which I rarely get to do on YouTube. But I want to share more than just like painting process. I want to show you behind the scenes and Basically, there is so much more to painting than, than the technique. So this will be my agenda from now on. You probably won't be able to expect a video from me on a weekly basis, but I'll make sure to create it whenever I want to share something with you. I hope you don't mind. I don't know what you're gonna get from this video. So now like this feels a bit weird. I don't think I've ever been on camera much on my YouTube channel. I guess I'm just not a camera material. I don't think the videos that I previously made on this channel were maybe worth the work. I know that a lot of you find them helpful when it comes to the watercolor techniques. I'm glad that you do because I made them for you. I guess it is either I will find something that fills me with more joy when it comes to the YouTube channel or I will not be able to come back to YouTube because it just wasn't working for me and it also wasn't working for you all that all that well. YouTube is the it always was a way to share my progress. I think that I progressed my technique uh, last year, but I just never sat down and made a YouTube video. I definitely was burned out when I made this decision 
do not create YouTube videos for a bit because it was easier to pull from YouTube than from anything else back then. Uh, am I not burned out right now? <laughs> No, I still am like pretty much, pretty much without joy in my life right now. Okay, that sounded really gloomy. In my defense, that was filmed uh, last autumn and I was feeling indeed so much worse than usual. I do suffer from anxiety, but mostly it is under control and I feel rather happy and fulfilled. But last autumn, it surprised me with how strong my anxiety got. It was really tough. Now it is January, New Year has started. My moods are very much all right, luckily. But I have to say, this is the first year when I didn't set any New Year's resolutions because I do not want to put pressure on myself and I am really trying to lower the workload to the very minimum this year. It feels like it is not worth ruining my health for this. So let me introduce myself all over again on this channel. I'm Jane, I'm a watercolor artist. I live in a small town called Modra, which translates to blue in Central Europe, Slovakia. I've been obsessed with watercolor painting for 13 years now and I'm mostly self-taught. I did get to study with some of my like all-time favorite watercolor painters last year in person, which helped me to simplify my technique and I really learned a lot. Since last I created a video for you, I even changed my materials that I'm using for the painting. I will show you the current ones later in the video. For now, I want to finish the quick watercolor study that you're seeing right now. It is a loose portrait. As a reference photo, I chose a woman holding flowers. And while that photo was really beautiful and inspiring, I did kind of change the color and the feeling. In general, painting is my favorite activity to help me manage my emotions. And no medium, in my opinion, does that better than watercolor because it allows me to finish the artwork quickly. And the emotion transfers to the flowy paint rather well. To me, personally, water and color flowing around is kind of soothing. But some people find it stressful as they don't appreciate the lack of control that you have over watercolor and that's a real thing. But I don't mind as much. I try to manage every aspect of my life so thoroughly and it never works and it only frustrates me. So painting is that one thing that I don't want to manage. It, the process sometimes feels as if the watercolor is using me and not the other way around. If you know what I mean. Sounds strange, but I just adore this technique.
más pobre la llena. So I'm visiting Danubiana, which is a gallery in Slovakia. So it's very cold outside and unfortunately I'm wearing a skirt, so it's really freezing. It was some time since I visited the gallery the last time. It was an incredible idea to build a gallery here because this is like far away from the city. It really feels like you can do some reflection while viewing some really amazing art. So this is how I film my Patreon lessons and have been during past year. There are two cameras, sometimes even my iPhone films, the vertical footage for Instagram Reels, which is very helpful to show my process in a different way. So the first things first, we will use cadmium orange like always and a bit of cadmium red for the skin tone. We will mix them together to create a skin tone. There is a highlighted area in the bottom lip. It, it doesn't even matter if the paint runs actually here. And I will let it dry. This is the first layer of the first portrait. I'm gonna uh, leave it for five minutes and then I'll move to the other portrait. One of the major changes that happened last year for me was the enlargement of our studio, so to speak. My studio is a small local business. We organize workshops during weekends and I also work here during weekdays. For years, this has all been happening in one studio room that I had to rearrange as a classroom every week. This was kind of tiring and uh, limited space also didn't allow us to fit everyone in who wanted to join the class. Sadly, there was no more room left in the building at that time. But then a yoga that was next door moved out last February and we got offered that space. It was already connected to my studio with the inside door. So I decided to take the risk of a much higher rent and take it. Now the studio has three rooms and a separate bathroom with small kitchen for customers and employees. And when I say employees, it's just me and my mom now. Uh, she handles client communication and workshop applications. The original studio room is now only my space for creating and the larger new room is a workshop classroom. I'm going to do a studio tour because it's been a year since we set everything up and I didn't yet show much of that anywhere. We also had a pretty tight budget so I had to try a couple of tricks to make the studio look nice without splurging so you might be interested in that as well. And so I finally finished this video after six months of trying to come up with it. There was footage from last year, then from January 2024 and then finally March 2024. And I just hope that you took something interesting from all this freaking chaos that is my artistic life right now. Anyway, let me know if there's anything that keeps me creating more. Is your genuine comments and presence once I publish? Many thanks. I will see you.